Hi, I'm Yakana. Some 130 years ago, in 1867, seven visionary black citizens of Fayetteville paid $136 for two lots right here on Gillespie Street. They formed a board of trustees to maintain the property for the education of black youth. Robert Harris became the first principal of what was named the Howard School. The Howard School in 1877 was selected to become the State Colored Normal School and thus became the second oldest public institution of higher education in North Carolina. Over the next few years, the Normal School was headed by several distinguished names that we're familiar with today. Charles W. Chestnut, Dr. Ezekiel Smith, George H. Williams, Dr. E. E. Smith, Dr. L. E. Fairley, Dr. Ward Seabrook, Dr. Rudolph Jones, and Dr. Charles Lyons, just to name a few. In the year of 1898, Dr. E. E. Smith and his wife donated enough land to give the institution 92 acres at its present site and permanent home here on Murchison Road. In 1929, all high school work was discontinued and the title of principal was changed to president. Dr. Smith was later to become the school's first president emeritus. Dr. J. Ward Seabrook was elected president in 1933. Under his leadership, the normal school became a four-year college and was renamed Fayetteville State Teachers College and earned both state and regional accreditation. Succeeding Dr. Seabrook, Dr. Rudolph Jones became president and authorized the expansion of the curriculum to include programs leading to degrees outside the teaching field, changing the name to Fayetteville State College in 1963. Several campus additions were made to accommodate the growing enrollment. In 1969, Dr. Charles Lyons, Jr. became president. The college was renamed Fayetteville State University and was designated a regional university through the North Carolina legislature. Dr. Lyons became the first chancellor and Fayetteville State was made a constituent institution of the University of North Carolina in 1972. Since that time, through the leadership of Dr. Lloyd Hackley, Dr. Willis B. McLeod, and present Chancellor Dr. T.J. Bryan, Fayetteville State University has increased enrollment, added doctoral and baccalaureate programs, and made campus building renovations and additions, changes that continue into the present day. What was the vision of a few citizens in 1867 has since become a fully accredited institution of higher education right here in Cumberland County, Fayetteville State University.